This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. What if you can have conversations with your data? So this is what Pandas AI aims to do. Pandas AI is a Python library that adds generative AI capabilities to Pandas. Uh, Pandas is the popular uh, data analysis and manipulation tool in Python. Right. Uh, this is designed to be used in conjunction with Pandas and is not a replacement for it. So basically you can have conversations with your data. Right. Let's look at a short demo of Pandas AI. OK, uh, so for this, I'm using this collab notebook. You need to install Pandas, Pandas AI. Pandas should be already be available. So that's why you have this upgrade. Right. And you are installing this Pandas AI Python library. So once the installation is done, you need to restart the runtime. Then you need to import pandas as PD. You need to import pandas AI. Okay. And also you need this large language model. So you need to import OpenAI from pandas.llm.openai. Okay. So once uh, we do this, we then create a data frame using pandas. So this is a data frame having GDP data and happiness index. So they've explained over here about this, um, you know, the data source for this, right? This is the world happiness report. So they have extracted from that. Okay. Um, so it, this particular pandas AI library allows makes pandas conversational. So you can ask questions to, about your data and get answers back in the form of pandas data frames. That's what they're claiming over here. I'll come to this particular pandas data frames in the demo. Okay. So we, we have created this data frame now. Okay. Then we need to instantiate the open API key for which you need to create an account with open AI. And then you need to create an API key over here. Right. So this is the API key. Uh, so after this demo, I will revoke this API key. Okay. In case you want to make use of this demo or this notebook, you need to create your open API key. Okay. And then you have to instantiate the large language model like this by passing the API token. Okay. Basically this open AI key, you need to say LLM is equal to open AI this thing. Now we need to instantiate pandas AI with the provided large language model, which we have instantiated over here. So pandas underscore AI is equal to pandas AI with this. And now you can start asking questions to your data. So you can say pandas AI dot run our data frame and the prompt is which are the five happiest countries. Okay. So if you were to manually do it, then you need to sort this particular happiness index and then extract basically sort happiness index and country, right? And then extract the top five countries over here, right? Here it is as simple as asking this question, which are the five happiest countries. So it says United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom and Germany. So United States, United Kingdom, and then you have Canada 7.3, you have Australia 7.3 and Germany 6. I think this 7. Okay, so it says these are the top five happiest countries. Okay, so you can ask questions like this. You can also show a chart, right? Plot the histogram of countries showing for each, uh, you know, GPD, basically this is GDP, not GPD. Okay, this is GDP, right? Using different colors for each bar. So it then actually generates this particular graph. Maybe I'll run it again. It does take some amount of time to generate these results. Okay, um, because it calls, it makes a call to open AI, passes the data, then gets the data back and then displays it over here. Okay. So that is what is happening in the background. So now you can see it over here. So this is the graph, which is histogram, which has been generated. Okay. Uh, so I don't know why it stays. It's still running. Yeah, it is done. Right. So it basically shows this particular histogram. Okay. So it says, sure, we can plot a histogram. The mean GDP is around this thing and happiness index is this thing. Mean GD minimum GDP is this maximum is this right majority have a gdp between this right now i want to find out which are the three least happiest countries again i i put this as a prompt and pass the data frame to pandas ai dot run and here you get it the three countries that rank the least happiest are china japan italy 
that's because if you look at over here uh, you know uh, china japan they are 5.9 5.0 and italy is 6.0 over here right so these are the three least happiest countries as per the happiness index based on this data right you can also ask questions like what is the sum of gdp of china and japan right so basically it sums up the gdp of china and japan and it gives you the results and this is quite accurate it's accurate actually it's basically a sum of uh, you know these values these two values right and it gives it properly over here um, you can also plot the histogram of country showing for each the happiness index using different colors for each bar so when i put this particular prompt okay uh, for uh, this thing right here i did not explicitly specify prompt is equal to but then i did this it gave me this graph with if you see this overlap of these you know country names over here basically this histogram so then i modified the prompt a little bit saying that using different colors for each bar with country names placed vertically so it says happiness index by country happiness index and now if you see united states united kingdom so it has actually taken care of that over here right um then i can also ask questions like what is the difference of gdp of the highest gdp and lowest gdp country so it calculates it and it gives the correct answer so if you look at the data the highest gdp was this particular united states lowest was japan not japan uh, yeah it was japan okay this number so when you subtract this number 516000 from this number you basically get this answer so it has actually done that and it gives the result okay ah uh, now coming to this particular thing where they say that um, you know that you can get the answers back in the form of a pandas data frame right that's what they are saying over here right pandas ai this thing ah uh, but they have not done dot run over here uh, it actually in my case when i was running this it it uh, returns it back as a string okay ah uh, not as a data frame i said return the result as a data frame otherwise also it doesn't return a data frame back i'm not sure why this happens maybe i'll copy the same thing and i'll just see if i don't use pandas ai dot run what happens i'm not sure let's just wait for this overall i find this to be a very nice library um the thing is that you need uh, access to open ai apis so basically you need this api key uh, it's a nice way of having a conversation with your data it makes a lot of tasks easier without you knowing syntax of pandas right you can do these things by knowing the syntax of pandas basically you have to write a little bit of code for each of these questions right to get the answers from the data but this seems to be a nice way of interacting with natural language on the data to get the results okay now let's see what comes out right uh this is df no uh type let's see what it is it's a string it's not a you know data frame i am not sure why there is this disconnect between the documentation over here so this was a short video on pandas ai a very interesting python library um, using which you can have conversations with your uh, pandas data frames so you can do a lot of uh, data manipulation and uh, you know analysis on the data in a natural language conversational way i'll be putting the link to this particular library uh and this particular um, notebook that's available here as well if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video